Hey, welcome back everybody in YouTube land. Well, guess what I found sitting out for the trash in my neighbor here. Had sitting out for the trash. It's a Troy built 850 series Briggs and Stratton engine. It is 28 PSI at 2.3 max gallon per minute. Well, let's look over here. Well, we can see that it's missing this. Uh, I went back. I couldn't find it. Uh, this is the return line for the fuel. Let's uh, let's see if it's got fuel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Let's smell it. Mm, brand new fuel. Brand new fuel. So, well, you know, here's the off and on switch. I guess this. I'm guessing this probably goes right up in here. I don't know for sure or not. I guess it's, uh, I don't see no throttle, so it must be preset. A lot of these are uh, preset models. So probably more or less, it might have not been able to go be, now this could be two things. The pump could be shot or the carburetor's clogged. So let me put you in the stand here. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to spray some carb spray in there. Back you up. And let's see if it'll lick over. A little carb spray. Let's see. Hey, look at that. That smoke some, blew some smoke, didn't it? Well i tell you what we're going to do. We're going to drop the bowl. And let's see what's in that. Let's see here. And I hate getting gas on me. Which ain't good for your health anyway. So I'm putting rubber gloves on. Because this is an examination, right? See? Whoop, broke, but this is an examination. More or less, that's probably a half inch. R13, you know, whatever. Oh, okay. Let's get this. Okay, now I gotta cry. Well, we got chickens running around. Clocking around. There's one decided she wants to help. You see that? She thought she can figure it out. I let her do it. She'd probably make a mess of things. She makes a mess on my floor out here, pooping all over, pooping all over the place. So here I'm gonna clump off the gas first because we don't want uh, just gas rolling anywhere. Let's do this here. Let's. Uh, I don't want it all over the place. So it's already starting to leak a little bit. So let's pull it, let's loosen this up. Ooh. Well, we got some gas coming through. That's why I put the gloves on so I don't get gas all over and soak it up into your skin. Call me wussy. What you want? It's not good for you. All right, let's look at that. I mean, it don't look that bad, really, people, you know. It don't look too awful. Well, well I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to get some carb spray. Carb spray. And let's see. Let's just do a little clean, especially up in here. here. We have this little thing here. Let's make sure that's clean. So it's not an issue of it getting in there. Our only problem I can see is the issue would be that it's, it's just not getting sucked up in there. Let's let it go. 
Now another thing it can be too, we're gonna, it's gonna tell us here. Sometimes it could be that uh, water, if it's been set outside, water got into it. So let's just tighten this up real quick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug water, hook it up to water, because it ain't good to run these pumps too long dry. And I notice this thing here kind of shakes a little bit. It's got some rivets on there, and I don't even know why they're on there. If there's a reason for them or not, I have no idea. But let's go over. And let's take her over here. Lower down. We're going to drag them over to here. It's pretty kinked up. some water.
All right, well, she died on me, but then I got her working again, and I don't see no issue why it did that. Let's try again. That's easier to shut off than the other one. It's not so harsh as sucking all that feel through. So I'm just gonna put a little shut off here that you just push that in and it's just a, uh, puts the, shuts the butterfly all the way. Well, hey, can't be for free, right? Works, everything works really good. So, hey, thanks for watching. And I just said I gotta throw you on there and let's see what this thing, what's in it and what it has and if it's gonna work or it's junk. But as you see, it was a driving in the rough. Just need a cover and a, um, a filter, and we're ready to go. Hey, thanks for watching, and hopefully I can get some more coming on here. It's been a bit since I, uh, I put any videos on. Thanks again for watching. Take care.